Hey, what's up? It's Halloween and holiday season also coming. So I decided to make a bread not just for Halloween, but for any other holiday event. Can be on your Christmas table, you can make it for New Year, you decide. Because today we're going to be making sourdough fugas. It's an easy same day recipe. And if you promise to be a little bit more patient, by the end of the video, I'm going to show you how this amazing bread can be one of the best option for Halloween. So let's get into this, shall we? In a medium sized bowl, add 8 grams salt. To that, pour 300 gram water. Mixy mixy. Of course, we have 80 gram active starter. It's a bit thicker than usual because it's been into the fridge. Mix again. I have my extra virgin olive oil thanks to my friend Chris, straight from Italy. I'm gonna use 10 gram, you can use a little bit more. And last but not least, 400 gram bread strong flour. Mix everything together. We don't want to knead this dough. We just want to let the dry and wet ingredients to meet each other. Once you have a shaggy dough like this, cover it up and let it rest for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, you know the story. The magic happened and the dough gained some strength. Now go ahead and give this bad boy one set of stretch and fold. Then grab the dough, lift it up a couple of times and try to round it up inside the bowl. Like so, we create a little bit more tension. This is the movement. Just turn the dough and push the dough in. Beautiful. Now cover it up and let it rest this time for one hour. One hour later, I'm going to wet up the surface and bring the dough on the surface. Now try to stretch the dough as thin as you can without tearing it. Now is the best time to add filling, which is about 30 to 40 grams drained chopped olives. And a little bit of parmesan. Of course, the best choices would be Kalamata olives with Herbes de Provence. Now fold the dough on itself and this technique called lamination. Flip the dough with the help of the surface, I'm going to round it up one more time and create more tension. And now into the bowl, let it rest for another hour. One hour later, we are almost done. Come back with wet hands and I'm going to give this bad boy one set of coil fold to ensure it's going to be legendary. You should end up with something like this. Cover it up and let it finish its ball fermentation for up to two hours. Again, my room temperature is around 26 degrees Celsius. The dough should be airy, not that sticky, release from the bowl easily. And now I'm going to separate it into two pieces. Be very gentle at this part. I'm going to round them one more time and let them sit on the counter for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, I'm gonna lightly oil up my baking paper and transfer the dough on the baking paper. Sprinkle a little flour and with the help of a roller, very gentle, roll it out to one to two centimeter thickness. And now let me show you how simply you can impress your family for Halloween. Your children's gonna love this bread. Trust me. Spooky skeleton, cute little ghosts, anything you like. I know you are more creative than me. You can let them proof uncovered on the counter until they are full of air and bubbles and when you poke, it's gonna bounce back slowly. Beautiful. And brush
crushed them with the mix of olive oil and your favorite herbs. I had a little bit of rosemary. Bake at 230 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes with the steam. And then remove the steam and bake for another 10 to 15 minutes. Right out of the oven, brush them one more time. And here you are, adorable Halloween breads. Should I try it? Don't! Happy Halloween! Super crispy, full of flavors. This is one of my all-time favorites. You don't need anything else. Dip into the olive oil and enjoy. Like always, keep baking and take good care of yourself. Happy Halloween!